Hi guys, it's Yoya and we're going to do a camel pose today and it will be around 15-20 minutes practice so if you want to do it um, in the morning or in the evening it would be a great way to open your body because back bending and it also gives you some strength so you would feel energized at the end of the practice. So we're going to stand up to start with and um, place your feet hip distance apart. Really ground yourself, remember those four corners of your feet, press them down, uh, magnetize your legs, your shins, hug them in towards the midline, inner thighs back and wide, then draw your gently uh, pubic bone towards your heart so um, there is a neutral curve in your lumbar area and then as we inhale we just sit back draw your hips back charge your heels but keep your shoulders relaxed and then come back and again come down to your Utkatasana sit back hips back keep them back keep your knees parallel but charge your heels more imagine you try to sit down on the chair behind you and come back and one more time as you come down to your Utkatasana stay here and then come back up and one more time down feel and then come back up for the last one see if you feel comfortable with lifting your heels so we're balancing here and then again sit back just keep that balance sit back hips back but keep your heels charged or keep your hips lift uh, heels lifted i'm sorry keep your heels lifted Relax your shoulders, open your chest and slowly come back and stay with your heels up, heels up, bring your arms up, nice, well done, slowly release your heels down, your arms down and again inhale arms up, then grab with your left hand your right wrist inhale lengthen as you exhale shift your pelvis towards your right and your upper body towards your left gently look up but think of a lengthening more the height so create a tall straight spine here and feel the opening of the right side of your body one more breath as you exhale slowly come back and we change sides so this time grab with your right hand your left wrist inhale lengthen as you exhale shift your pelvis towards your left and upper body towards your right side opening from the left side of your body look up and think of a lengthening more opening your side body here slowly come back release your arms you can shake them if you need to inhale arms up and then again sit back in your utkatasana sit back charge your heels send your hips away away from your heels and then slowly as you exhale bow down come to your uttanasana for a moment inhale come halfway up as you exhale step your left leg back and lower your left knee to the floor toe heel your right foot towards your right a little bit so you have laterally in between your legs hip distance so it like if you draw a line from your left knee forward laterally it will be hip distance apart press down with your 
right heel inhale come up bring your hands let's bring them up first look up and see if you can come to a gentle back bend here feeling the back side of your body and then bring your hands in front of your chest lean forward first then start twisting towards your right and hook your left elbow onto your right knee outside of your right knee press your hands press back and then roll your right shoulder back keep your right heel hip down your hip keep your hips leveled and see if you can maybe try and straighten your back left knee come to a twist stay for one more breath well done slowly look down place your hands step back and then lift your right leg open your hips stack your right hip on top of your left bend your right knee and feel the opening of your right hand uh, right quadricep right hip slowly lower your right foot down come to a down facing dog you can walk your dog for a moment bending one knee and straightening the other one just a few times nice and then on the next inhale start the movement from your heels slowly ripple yourself to the front of your mat and come to your plank and feel feel your back body feel it engage so don't collapse fill it up lift your lower ribs engage your core and slowly scoop your tailbone towards your heels stay in your plank if it's too much you can always lower your knees but remember make your shoulder blades wide across your back stay for one more breath then slowly lower all the way to the floor untuck your toes and place your hands to the back slightly away from your body just try to keep just the fingertips on the floor as you inhale lift your upper back upper body as you exhale lower down and repeat inhale up exhale down use your hands for more stability inhale up and this time lift your legs up exhale down and again inhale upper body up legs up arms up stay for two breaths breathe feel your back body slow release down place your hands tuck your toes under and come to your down facing dog stay in your down facing dog you can bend your knees if you need to just make it fluid make it alive don't be too static if you need to move around maybe swaying your hips from side to side bending your knees but again use your hands press the fingertips down connect to the mat and gently roll your inner biceps forward so again your shoulder blades they stay at the back of your <coughs> excuse me at the back of your a rib cage <coughs> excuse me okay guys on the next inhale look to the front of the mat as you exhale bend your knees and step or walk to the front of your mat bring your feet parallel inhale come halfway up lengthen make your spine neutral maybe you're there this is fine exhale fold and bow on the next inhale bend your knees send your hips back Come again to your Utkatasana. Keep charging your heels. And then slowly come back. Bring your hands in front of your chest. Release your hands down. Inhale, arms up. Gently look up. 
as you exhale, tilt your pelvis and fall down. Inhale, come halfway up. As you exhale, this time, step your right leg back to the back of your mat. Lower your right knee. Toe heel your left leg towards your left. Left foot towards your left. So again, we want to have laterally hip distance between our legs. Inhale, come up. Bring your arms up. And then slowly start opening your chest. Coming to a gentle back bend here. And then slowly come back. Bring your hands in front of your chest. Lean forward first, then start twisting. And then hook, hook your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. And remember, keep that long. We have a tendency to crunch here. Keep that long and then press your left hand onto the right, and then roll your left shoulder back. Come to a deeper twist. If you're comfortable here, stay there. Or maybe you could try and lift your right knee off the floor, coming to a full pose here. One more breath. Well done, slowly look down, place your hands, step back, and then lift your left leg up, Open your hips, stack your left hip on top of your right, bend your left uh, knee and feel, this is a scorpion tail, just stay in between your, your head is in between your arms and keep your shoulders neutral. Slowly lower your left leg to the floor, come to your down facing dog for a moment and again if you need to move around to ease your things, to ease your dog, please go for it and then on the next inhale start from your heels and round your spine, ripple forward to your plank, feel Stay in your plank for three breaths. And again, back body, bright and active. And then as you exhale, slowly lower all the way down to the floor. Nice. And keep your hands to the sides of your chest. Untuck your toes. Connect your pubic bone to the ground like you glue it there. So this is the point of your stabi stability. As you inhale, slide like a wiggle forward and come to your, roll your shoulders back, come to your back bend to your cobra. You can look in front of you, don't have to look up because some people, they have tendency to crunch their neck. Keep your neck relaxed. As you exhale, lower down and repeat it one more time. Inhale. Come up, come to a cobra. Connect your pubic, engage, engage your buttocks. Track your hands back. Exhale, lower down. One more time, inhale, come up. Exhale, lower down. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips, send them up and back down facing dog stay in your dog for five breaths if you need a child's pose go for it now this is a perfect time to have your body a little bit of a rest if you need to good well done guys so on the next inhale lift your right leg up keep your pelvis squared as you exhale step it through by your right thumb then lower your left heel to the mat and angle it 45 degrees but still we want to have some distance in between our legs our feet and glue the outer edge of your left foot to the floor inhale come up this is warrior one 
So this is pretty much, uh, we didn't do the high lunges, but this is high lunge, but with the heel down, and it would require a lot, much more of an internal rotation for the back leg. So if you can locate your left inner thigh, move it back and wide, and it would help you to square your pelvis, and then you could bend your front leg more. Stay here for a moment. Slowly lower. Place your hands and again lower your left knee to the floor. Then open your right foot 45 degrees to the side and then bring it to the outer edge of the foot. So your ankle, your knee and your femur, it's one, they all in one line. Stay just on your fingertips, maybe, you know, back up your left knee a little bit if you need to find the alignment then place your left um, fingertips and shift the weight towards your left hand and twist towards your right you can bring your right arm up you can stay here or bend and grab the outside edge of your left um, foot and just see if you can sink a little bit more coming to a deeper twist here slowly look down place your hands lift your left knee up and step your right foot back come to your down facing dog for a moment and again, make it fluid. Just bend your knees one at a time. And when you're ready, let's lift our left leg up. As you exhale, step it to the front. So by the left thumb, then lower your right heel. Open it 45 degrees, have some room for your legs here for your hips and then glue the outer blade of your right foot to the floor inhale come up and again remember this right inner thigh move it back and wide internally rotate that leg so your left right part of your hip comes forward then you can keep your left hip back and you can bend your left knee more. Worry one. Look up if you can. Well done. We're almost there. Look down, place your hands, lower your right knee this time to the floor. Place both hands to the inside and then open that left foot 45 degrees and then bring it to the outer blade of your left um, foot just so the ankle the knee and the femur it's they all in one line stay like here like here a little bit then uh, press and shift the weight of your body towards your right fingertips and shift uh, t twist I'm sorry twist towards your left bring your left arm up Maybe you could bend your right knee and grab the outer blade, the outer edge of your right foot and twist a little bit more. If it feels comfortable. Nice. Slowly down, place your left hand to the floor, lift your right knee, step your left foot back, down facing dog. Stay here for five breaths, just to catch up with your breath. And then lower your knees to the floor, and we're coming to 
our final pose so for the final pose you know some people they like to double up with a mat because it gives your knees some extra support so let's try that so if you can bring your knees they're not together they hip distance apart so you have some room for your hips here as well um, if you know that you know that would be the my uh, general guidance for you if you know that it's a difficult pose for you and you're not that open here then um, tuck your toes under it will give you more stability and um, it will be easier for you to hold the pose if not if you know that you know for some people it's easier but don't let your heel uh, your knees come comes to the side keep them hugged in sometimes even place you know if you have a block here you could try to do it with a block so you can place a block here in between your thighs and you would have to hug in to in order to keep the block in place right so that would be let's try with the block if you don't have it just imagine that you have a block in there so you can hug those thighs in keep that engagement of your legs and that it really first it would allow you to back bend more because you just uh, activating and charging and switching off uh, switching on I'm sorry the backs of your your hamstrings the, they stay strong for you um, and at the same time uh, it gives you uh, solid support to engage and come to the back bend. So first uh, we will do with the block and then we'll try to repeat it without, okay? So place your hands onto, onto your waist and try to think of shifting your pelvis forward. So we're not collapsing, we're shifting pelvis forward. And then from there, we're lengthening from our side body drawing your chest open and rolling your shoulders back and then you come to your camel you can even try to open your arms to the side and slowly come back up oh, remove the block it's a strong pose sit on your heels close your eyes and just digest and remember that uh, feeling in your or sensations in your legs when you were hugging onto the block so you really had to press hard to be able to maintain that block so the second one we will go without the block but I want you to keep the same engagement of your legs here okay guys well done slowly open your eyes and here we go number two so this time we're going to do um, more classical version so legs hugged in remember this is important and we'll start again with the arms to your waist remember pelvis forward lengthen and then open we're not crunching so this is important to keep this lumbar spine long the more you keep it long the easier it will be for you to open your chest because this is a back bend and back bends come from the not from the lumbar back lumbar area right it's more about thoracic spine okay so inhale here as you exhale slowly start shifting your pelvis forward lower then place your hand, uh, hands onto your heels and again hips forward open side body long slowly come back up sit on your heels close your eyes and rest nice 
well done well done guys it's um, very um, it's a deep pose it brings up a lot to the surface sometimes uh, many people I saw many people cry after doing this pose and if it happens to you happen just happened to you you just know that it's fine because there was something inside which wanted to go out and you helped it and just be grateful for that good so to finish our practice there are uh, two ways so one way if you have a block at home or maybe you have a couple of you know solid from um, pillows you can place them next to the wall you can lay with your hips next to the wall on the pillows and bring your legs up or we can do it with the block so you can again lay down on your mat bend your knees place your feet quite close to your hips then lift your pelvis and place your block on the lower setting right underneath your sacrum so you have nice support for your sacrum here and again i really enjoy when i draw my shoulders back and i have those shoulder blades flat on the floor on the mat so it's kind of it feels nice then bring those knees in and then straighten your legs so we basically do the same as we would do next to the wall but we're using just the block and this is more active because you would have to actively engage your legs to hold them up though it's not that much of engagement so we can easily call this pose a restorative so we're staying here and if you feel like closing your eyes please go ahead and prepare your body to to relaxation just feel the blood feel coming in from your legs into the body and feel your whole body right here on the mat nice bend your knees again draw them into your chest then place them your feet onto the mat lift your heels lift your hips remove your block and slowly lower your hips back onto the mat and again draw your knees into your chest and you can move them from side to side and you know, sway them or make uh, circle movements, whatever you feel you need to do. And it's nice release for the lower back. You can massage your lower back like this. Good, and when you're ready, bring your legs, spread them wide, as wide as your mat. Draw, let your feet drop to the sides. Bring your arms slightly away from your body, palms facing upwards and just stay and feel and relax this is your shavasana the end of the practice And feel the heaviness of your body and feel the relaxation just remember that if you need to stay longer in your Shavasana you can always do that and 
this is the most important part, part of the practice so you can really relax your body, relax your mind or you can start awakening your body moving your toes, your fingers, your ankles, your wrists Bring your arms overhead and give yourself a nice stretch. Gently roll onto your right side and pause there for a moment. And then when you're ready, slowly press with your left hand and come all the way back up. Sometimes I use a block to sit on it because it gives me some extra space. Find your comfortable seat and close your eyes. Make sure that your spine is nice and tall. Place your hands, palms facing upwards. And just use a few more moments here to be with your body. Place your hands in front of your chest and bow your head. Great guys, so we finished this practice and though it's, um, I would say it's level one too, so it could be a good practice for beginners, but you know, if you're intermediate or advanced, you can use this practice too to really feel your body and work uh, more on the alignment. Again, as I said in the beginning, you can always modify if you need to, you can do, you know, stage one of the pose or you can go deeper if you need to um, so I think this is a universal practice for many levels and this is quite short so you don't have to spend a lot of time on your mat because you know all of us we we have busy lives we have families and you know many of you have jobs and you know so it's like be busy but to find 15-20 minutes for yourself is always great. So I really thank you for being with me today on the mat, for watching my video and please leave your comments. I really want to know what you think and I really want to know your feedback. If you like it, please like my videos and subscribe to the channel. More videos to come. Thank you. Namaste.